Right, OK, we're going to look at uh, standard form. For instance, 8, 1, 9, 2, 6, 7. Just putting that straight into standard form, um, it has to be between 1 and 10. So if I put a decimal point here, that will work, because it will be 8.1 something. If I put it there, it would be useless, because it would be 81. So it will be 8.1. 9267 times 10 to the power and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 because every whole number has an invisible decimal point at the end so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 I've had to move the decimal point 5 times to get to there it was originally there that's standard form, that's fair enough but usually you have to round something and then apply standard form otherwise there's no advantage to that if anything there's more work, there's more effort. We could have just left it as that and would have been better. So usually I have to round. So we'll do three significant figures first. Um, usually any non-zero figure, so that's significant, significant figure. They're all significant figures. If you got rid of any of them, it would disturb the units and tens and all that kind of stuff. So again, it would be eight point... So three significant figures, first, second, and third. So we're going to round here, so those three numbers are going to disappear. The two will have no effect on the nine. So it's going to be 8.19 times by 10 to the power, and it's the same, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's rounded to three significant figures in standard form. Let's round the same to uh, decimal places this time. So we'll do it to 3dp. So this time we're going to have 8 point, that's because it's between 1 and 10 again. Decimal places, of course, doesn't start from the first figure, it starts from after the decimal point. So it's going to be 1, 2, 3, that's your third decimal place. So it's going to be 1, 9. Those two numbers are going to get discarded, but the 6 will influence the 2 and make it up to a 3. So you have to round in that case. So 8.193, and then in standard form, times 10 to the power, and again it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And that's rounded to 3 dp. Um, so another quick example, just to capture that. Um, 21984, we'll do it to three significant figures and three decimal places. So again, I've got to put a decimal point in, so two points, so three significant figures, first, second and third. That eight is going to knock that nine up, and then that's subsequently going to knock that up. Right, I've done this number deliberately. So that'll be rounded up to two, and that'll become a zero. In this case, we'd consider that significant. Um, so that's... Our, it sounds like a trick question, but that's the only way you can round up something awkward like that when you've got high numbers that have a knock-on effect. Um, so to three significant figures, you'd have to put 2.20. It is significant when you replace a number with a zero. That That's a significant digit. So it would be 2.20 times by 10 to the power, 1, 2, 3, 4 this time. So that's the three significant figures. To so three decimal places, it would be 2 point and then these are the three numbers. The 4 will have no influence on the 8, so it'll be simply 2.198 times 10 to the power, again, 1, 2, 3, 4, that doesn't change. So rarely you can get awkward situations like that, whereas in, you know, in decimal place terms, um, it's been rounded to 2.198, significant figures, so to capture it I'll put 3SF and 3DP there. And there you go, that's standard form, more or less.